Hello everyone and welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and today's video is about Airshow surprisingly enough. And if you don't hear it from me, you might start to pick up rumours from elsewhere that Airshow is back as a free download and that's what I'm going to investigate in this video. So, where is this free download? Well, if you point your browser to the usual location where we used to get it freely, savagepool.com, and tap on the link to get Airshow, what you'll find is that it gives you the pop-up to install, and you'll start to get excited when you see that the app is appearing as an install option, and when it finishes, if you try and launch it, you'll get the usual untrusted enterprise developer error issue, like that. So you're getting even more excited. Let's go to the settings. We'll go down to profile and device management and just trust the certificate. And that should get us up and running with Airshow, correct? Wow, we are back in. So yeah, before you actually dive into downloading Airshow again, have you noticed the difference? There's no actual recording option. This is just for broadcasting, streaming your gaming content onto Show's own broadcasting service. And if I tap on the information button, we'll see that we're on version 071. So to try and reiterate what versions you need for Airshow if you want to actually do any game recording. First of all, any version 07 or above is entirely useless for recording and posting onto YouTube because that's just going to stream your content onto shows services themselves. If you want to do any recordings and have good playback and editing options, you want either 060 or 061. Presently, those are available as IPA downloads and then you install it through Cydia Impactor. I have a tutorial on that if you're interested in that. And there is the alternative of paying for it either through Bills.io or Rocket IPA. If you're going to go further back through the versions, then you can get 052 or earlier, but you'll probably have playback issues and severe editing issues when you try and use it on an iOS 10 device. So there is a quick roundup of the current Airshow situation. It's almost like an April Fool's here, in that savagepool.com has now provided us with the download link for Airshow, but it's a version that's not gonna be any use to you if you want to do screen recordings to upload to YouTube. Any more questions, pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content, and you know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.